Time for our final recipe of today, and we're joined by Kimberly White. Um, are you any good at cooking? No, but I'm a great sous chef. Chopping are you, you're is good where at chopping? I'm at the best. Yes. Uh, what, what do you cook for yourself? Where do you live now, by the way? Do you live in the UK or, or America? I live in LA. Live in Los Angeles. LA. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you obviously spend a lot of time here as well, don't I you? S I split my time yeah. between here and there for sure. And what, where's the food best? Where is the food best? I mean, there's we all could, there's on, spots all over. It. Exactly. We can take it. You say, <laughs> do you think the food in America is better? No, I wouldn't say that. I would say that it's just as good whenever you can find a good chef that has good food, and you can mm. find those restaurants everywhere. Mm. There's great restaurants in London. Cool. That's a good answer. OK, so we're going to make um, a, a seared salmon and chorizo salad. So, nice piece of salmon. We've got some sunblush tomatoes. We've got a bit of rocket and watercress. Finely sliced shallots. The dressing is garlic, whole grain mustard, sherry and sherry vinegar, mm -hmm. um, olive oil, and then our beautiful chorizo. So, chorizo. Kimberly, first job is how I just... You, how do you say chorizo? Do you say it like that? Chorizo. Chorizo. There you go. That's LA. <laughs> That's LA yeah. for you. Yeah. It's a few slices of that. I have about four slices of that. Thin or thick? Yeah, about that kind of thickness, really. About the okay. thickness. About the thickness of, of a pound coin. So what, sort of, what sort of things do you eat? Are you, are you, are you, when you're in training, you have to obviously get a lot of calories in, do you? Being a dancer. I do, but luckily I have a boyfriend. Oops, that cooks, so he. I'll just take that bit off you, you so you don't look stupid. <laughs> so he cooks, and I just listen to him and do whatever cutting oh. and chopping he needs. What does he cook? Lots of different things, like homemade pizza. I love. We make really good salads with lots of awesome ingredients and mm. bacon and stuff. Bacon is usually our key ingredient. <laughs> well, you can't beat a bit of bacon. You can't go wrong with bacon. It's beautiful. One more piece and we're done. And if you want to improve the flavour of anything, stick cheese on it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> or deep that fry works. it, or both. And I just learned that the knife is very important, because I was always trying to chop with little tiny knives, and I'd yeah, be, like, sawing yeah, for hours. Knife. But yeah. if you got a nice knife... Big knife. So and you've got a good stance as well. It, that kind of parallel to the work surface is always yeah. good, Absolutely. which you've now mastered. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. if, if you don't, you pull your groin. Right. Yeah. And you 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 don't want to do that at all. Now, okay. Now, um, Kimberly, we're all we're, we're all very disappointed on today's show because your signature move, signature dance move, uh, is where you put your leg up and, and you've you've come in a very pretty frock. Yeah. But it's not good for us because it means well you, you could potentially do it, but I mean. This <laughs> <laughs> is Sunday. It would be yeah. it would be great for you, <laughs> figures. Yeah. Might not, might not be a show next week. It'd be an interesting way to hand on notice him, wouldn't it? I usually keep it out of the kitchen. <laughs> but yeah. we've got a clip of you doing it, which is, which is maybe as good. Let's have a look. Here you go. There it is. There you go. Wow. How hard is it to do that? It takes years of training. Years of training. Yeah. Could, you, could you just, if you weren't wearing that, would you be able to just pull it off now? I would, yes. Do you have to keep stretching, though? You know, in terms of... Yeah, you have to keep be... stretching and whatnot yeah. and keep the muscles engaged and everything. So that's your signature dance move. What's your signature dance move, Simon? Uh, mine tends to be the sort of stand around the dance floor with a pint until the <laughs> slowies come on. That's yeah. kind of... That's always been mine, really, Tim. I don't think that quite qualifies. Or a little, like, still Running and shake, like, yeah. yeah Hip-hop dancing. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> Get me on your show. Come on. Although in, you're, I like I, your, your running man's out. good as well, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be in your next video. Yeah, running man, that's a basic. Though. Everyone can do that. That's true. A cabbage patch. Now, what we're going to do... Cabbage patch? What's the cabbage patch? Well, that's... That's old school. You should know that. Show me that. We, that, didn't, that didn't make it over here. <laughs> no? We were busy doing windmills. Oh, I see. OK, now... <laughs> or the Roger <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> 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 What we're going to do with the chorizo? You do this is know? lovely, <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah, curled. Yeah, yeah. The chorizo is curled. So what we want? We want this to be flat. So we put it on a tray. We put another piece of parchment on top. Press it down with a, another tray and put it in the oven. And so we get nice flat chorizo. It's purely presentation. You don't have to do it. It's just a little bit of a chefy thing. Now, what we're going to do with the salmon in the same pan that we've done the chorizo. So we've got a little bit of that chorizo oil. We slice a couple of bits of the salmon. And we're just going to cook this on one side so it stays nice and raw on the other. So that goes on there. We drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. Light drizzle. Light drizzle. <laughs> and then we sprinkle a bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we go into the pan, flesh side down, and we're going to cook that literally for... 25, 30 seconds, that's all. There's enough heat in that that will cook slightly through to the side, but lots of it will stay Wait, raw. Simon, may I show another clip? You may. This is a clip of, I think, of last week's show where you decided to put through a lady called Happiness. <laughs> this is what you believe is good dancing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here goes.
Um, you, you put her through. That was amazing. Was you know, it? Was it that amazing? The one thing you can't you teach... You spend long enough in England, you'll see that everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, let's go Britain. <laughs> everywhere. There's one thing you can't teach a dancer, and that's to not care what people think and just let go. And I felt yeah. like that's what happiness yeah. really represented. Yeah. It's just letting go of all insecurities yeah. and just being the dancer within who she is. Post 11 o'clock, all over our <laughs> good old yeah. lighty, there are people doing that. I like the lady last year, though, who was very similar to her, who then argued with you when you didn't put her through. Oh. And she had a real argument. She was, like, she was saying, like, you know, I'm in my 40s, blah, blah, give me a chance. And you all were very cruel to her. I felt. Cruel. But, yeah, that's just me. <laughs> um, OK, so you the usually, dressing. You usually say about people, you know, you didn't miss a beat. She missed every beat, and yet you still... Oh, no, yeah. no, no, she had great musicality. She was in it. What is this musicality word? It's like it appeared twice in the show. It's about being on the beat and listening to the music and having the music kind of filter through you and come out through your dance. <laughs> three, 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 <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> we, need some, we need some foodicality now. So okay. put the mustard, the garlic, the sherry, the sherry vinegar yeah. into there and give them a bit of a win. Right. Yeah. All of it. Brilliant. Yeah, all of it, all, all of it in. The okay. the, I'm going to now express through the medium of dance my musicality. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen my backward dancing? It's really cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need music. <laughs> this, is, this is what they do at weddings. Over here. <laughs> That's quite interesting. So interesting moves you've got there. I've got a few moves. Yeah. I've yeah. got that, I've got hip hop, I've got running man, and I've got the Charleston. That's my whole repertoire. I've, I've got an offer Very for you nice. to be a hairdresser as well. A friend of mine who owns a hairdresser, Helen, said that if you ever want to be a hairdresser again, she'll train you. And is that, that dancing. I, I actually want to be a hairdresser, not a hairdresser. Am I supposed to be whisking this? An hairdresser. An hairdresser. Uh, whisk it. With, whisk with it? the whisk. Okay. Hairdresser. <laughs> If anyone who's wondering what's going on here, right. how to speak earlier, and you're dropping your H's. So, well, well, you're doing it in the Spanish way as well. Hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> French that was. Yeah. Yeah. Hairdresser. Right, Kimberly. Yeah. Keep, keep whisking. <laughs> We are in great danger of falling off air. Keep yeah, whisking yeah. as we <laughs> emulsify the olive oil. So the dressing, sherry, sherry vinegar, whole grain mustard, garlic, salt and pepper. Whisk fast, 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 fast. <laughs> Get those strong whisks going. Brilliant. OK, so we're ready to go. So what we've got, our chorizo that we have had in the oven that we've crushed down. So we've got nice flat pieces of chorizo. Look at that, beautiful. So you've got chorizo crisps in effect. Right. What we're going to do to assemble this, we have a little handful of our delicious leaf, like that. We put a couple of shallots on there. We put a couple of sunblush tomatoes on there. We have a couple of bits of our chorizo. We then sit a lovely piece of salmon, cooked on that side, raw on that side. Beautiful, beautiful flavour. We then have... That's beautiful. I'll have the dressing. We then spoon a wee bit of dressing over there, like that. We then have a little bit more of that, a little bit more of that, a little bit more of that, a bit more of that, one of those, bit of that. Bit of this, bit of that. <laughs> Splosh it on there. Bit of that. This bit of that. Whoa. And we're done. What up? And then put some cheese on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to uh, taste that in just a minute, but now over to Louise. <laughs> like to us, Kim. Bringing that over, I can tell you that the clips of Other Half were first broadcast in 1980. <laughs> that was a rush, yeah? What? Was that yeah. a rush? What year was it? 1980. 1980? Yeah, did anyone get that right? Oh, goodness. Simon, who, who, what were you all eating? Quickly run through it. OK, all right, so Lou and I have got the millionaire shortbread pots with the chalky and the crispiness. Then Pamela has got the goat's cheese and the pepper and chilli rolls. Chim, you've got the chilli beef. And then Kimberly has got the beautiful salmon and chorizo that okay. we made so beautifully together. When, when, does, when does your tour start? Oh, it starts on Friday in Nottingham. Going right. to go to Sheffield Friday. and Manchester and uh, Belfast and Dublin and... Right. Um, all over the show. All over the place right. for a month. We've got loads of tweets coming. This one comes from Marina. Actually, loads I, of... Loads first of all, I've got to tell you how I'm bad. I am. Why? Uh, Billy's, he just called me. He's in New York. It's the middle of the night, and all these people are texting him saying, Pamela actually asked, how long does it take to cook the moose? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the stupidest question anybody's ever asked well, on this show? All, all the tweets and emails are coming in actually about Billy, and, and, and the, they say, did Billy get involved in your dance practice on Strictly? 
Um, no, no, no. He he didn't. He wasn't here a lot of the time, but he was very supportive. After the initial, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> then after a while, he he loved it, and he loved the fact that I loved it. He, he was he was one. Weeks, didn't he? No, well, he, he came about three times. times yeah. So yeah, yeah. Becky no. Roberts says, "Does Billy like your new figure?" Yeah, he loves my tweet, new figure. Tweet tweet. <laughs> 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 my new figure. Uh, Kimberly Martin Clark says, "What's the difference between contemporary and street dance?" The difference between contemporary and street. <laughs> well, street is hip hop, and contemporary is uh, ballet basses. Right, OK, because so, yeah, so. you've been banging on about that all the time. So you prefer the sort of contemporary stuff, the 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 the, the, the I have a the lot of skilled. respect for contemporary, yeah. Is it, it's harder to do, right? Yeah, it takes a lot more training in some aspect to get it perfectly technically right. If you can dance one, can you dance the other? You should know that, because you do it on your show. They cross over, don't they, the um, dancers? If you're a very, very accomplished dancer, you can do both. But it's very different styles, and um, it's tough to do both. They're, you know, one needs a swag and one needs... Good lines, tough. Mm -hmm. Right, Kimberly? Yes, yeah, absolutely. You and your musicality, of course, obviously. <laughs> well, get your musicality right. No <laughs> point even putting on the shoes unless you've got your musicality in order. All right, that's it for this week. Many thanks to Pamela and Kimberly uh, for being with us. Uh, next week, we'll be joined by Greg Davis from The In Between Us. I'll be wearing platforms because he's huge. Uh, <laughs> enjoy your Sunday, and we'll see you all next week. Come on, Liverpool. Come on, Chelsea. <laughs>